multipath is an interference when the signal from the satellite gets reflected multiple times from the surrounded object. Those signals arrive together with the direct signal to the device and this causes disruption in the navigation solution calculated by the same device. Another important aspect of multipath is the obscuration. Obscuration happens when the signal from the satellite get blocked by, for example, a building, and this doesn't stop that signal to still arrive from the, to the receiver from a reflected object. It's important to characterize multipath in order to compensate it on your device. Well, so far, multipath has been simulated with a statistical model. Statistical models generate a signal using a kind of randomness which is constrained to the kind of multipath. This works fine, but it doesn't reflect very well the effect in a real environment. Spirant was a collaboration with Octel SE, offered a unique system to simulate GNSS propagation in a true-to-life synthetic environment. The system combines the state-of-the-art GNSS simulator and an advanced GNSS propagation model. The propagation model relies on a 3D scene reconstruction of the actual real life. This allows the generation of multipass signature that relies on the location of the device under test. SCNAP implements a deterministic ray tracing algorithm on NVIDIA GPU architecture. Coupled with geometrical optics and uniform theory of diffraction, every possible multipass that could reach the device under test would be computed and displayed. SDNAV ray traces both geometric reflection, transmission, and diffraction elements. This typically generates hundreds of multipath per satellite in view. User-defined filtering algorithm could then be applied to ensure only the desired multipath signals are sent to the simulator. The solution offers the opportunity to test your device under different realistic environments, for example, city or dense forest. In addition, more realism could be added to the simulation by including traffic, crowd, static or dynamic objects.